In this video, I'm going to shape and bake a whole wheat sandwich loaf. So we take it out of the bin and then pre-shape by folding the top over and then doing a few turns around the side until it's a round shape. And now I'm going to make a liner out of parchment for our loaf pan. So take out a sheet of parchment, cut it pretty large so it's going to fit all the way inside the pan, and then put it over the bottom side of your pan and cut at the four corners. So once you've made those cuts, we're going to flip our loaf pan over and then we're going to fit this cut parchment into the loaf pan. So if you see those tabs, we're going to fold the, um, the outer edges behind those tabs so that it will perfectly fit into your loaf pan. So one more fold here and then press it in at the corners so it has a nice shape and totally fits. Set it to the side and time for the final shape. So we're going to flour the top of our loaf, turn it over onto the floured side, the sticky side is now up. Now gently shake out the sides and then we're going to take the two corners that are on the top and then doing this upside down so you can see it better and then you're going to fold those in into a triangle shape and then once you have that triangle shape you take the tip of the triangle fold it down into the middle and then fold the edges in on top of the triangle and then take the top of the loaf and fold it down in half like this and then you're going to seal it with our fingers at the edge Take your dough scraper, or you can do this by hand, and tighten your dough, your <laughs> tighten the dough so it has tension, and then transfer that into your prepared loaf pan. Now it's going to set aside, covered to proof for one to three hours. Sometimes with a sandwich loaf, I will even let it proof longer and have great results. So it depends on how the loaf is looking. I like to get it to be um, coming over the top of the loaf pan by half to one full inch before I bake it. Toward the end of the proofing time, preheat your oven to 500 degrees with a pan of water on the bottom rack to steam the oven for 20 to 30 minutes until that water is really steamy. Once your oven is preheated, take out your proof loaf and then we're going to take a lom or a serrated bread knife if you don't have a lom and make a score along one side of the loaf about a quarter inch deep and make sure you get all the way across the loaf so that the score will help the loaf to split open nicely all the way across. And then it's time to put it in our hot oven. And then we're going to take our loaf and put it into the, into the oven, into the center rack. I like to add a few sprays of water on the, on the edges of the oven right before I close the door quickly to add in some extra steam. And then we're going to turn our temperature down to 470 for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, we're going to take out that steam pan, close the door again, and bake it for 15 more minutes at 450 degrees. Once your loaf is baked, you take it out, place it on your cooling rack, and let it cool for at least an hour. Um, best results are usually to let it set overnight for to be so that the structure can solidify and set and it's easier to cut for um, thinner slices. That is if you can wait that long. I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is Jenny from Living Bread Baker, uh, and I can't wait to teach you again next time. Keep on baking.